doing? And um, welcome to this app review or Mac app review. Um, and this is for this app called Analog. Every now and again, I'm quite fortunate enough to be able to uh, to get sent these sort of apps to to have a, a quick play with them and have a look and review them, see what I think. And um, this one, Analog, I thought was sort of worth your while. So you can make your own mind up. If you look over here, the price, the price is quite... Um, quite expensive for what it is and basically it's a bunch of filters and borders and very very basic editing tools however um, if you're not great with other apps you can make some of your images look really really professional and that's why I thought that it is you know it is sort of worth some people's while so anyway we'll go over and we'll have a look and um, and I'll show you the basics on, on or <laughs> it is really basic on how to use it um, and um, yeah you can you can choose for yourself but I thought it was worth worth a um, worth a look so let's go over and have a look okay so here we are in the analog app as you can see it is very very basic you just drag and drop your photos from your desktop or from whatever folder um, to this position here and then you select your filters over this right hand side here um, you can flick this to borders once you've selected and then change your borders um, also um, some command um, command and two will change to borders command and one if you prefer sh sh sort of shortcut keyboard uh, keyboard shortcuts so let's drag a file over and let's have a play with it or drag an image over should I say so I just dragged and dropped this image um, and this this is a free image from um, a place called birthdaycards.net um, they have some good images there so go and have a look have a look I'll put that in the description as well I don't want to use free stuff from places and not give them credit for it so as I said um, I could just select whatever filter I want to apply to this image and um, and then I get these, this little toolbar pop up on the bottom of my screen right here. So this on the left hand side, the analog logo is just toggling processing. So it'll show you what, um, with it lit, it'll show you what the, um, the filter is like. So if you use this golden air, it's quite prominent. In fact, let's use this purple haze. That's quite prominent. Um, so as you can see, that's with the filter and that's without the filter. And I think you could also press M on your keyboard as well here. Yeah. So just press M on your keyboard or toggle this on and off to see what the filter's like. If you're not happy with the filter, there's no undo button. It's just choose another filter or go back to the original um, little placeholder here. Once you've selected a filter like so, um, let's use let's use this red scale filter right here. Um, the next thing along on our um, on our toolbar is this little um, adjustment filter. So I just press it, and I can adjust the filter intensity by dragging the slider up and down like so. It really is easy. Once you're happy with the intensity of that, you just click apply, and that's. That's that done. If you're not happy with it, you change the filter or you go back to the original. Like I said, there is no undo. You can also crop an image. So you just drag, you just go through that again. Crop here, little crop button. Drag the toolbar or the, the points out like so to what you want to crop it to and then click apply and you will crop that image. Um, to what you want to do like I said there's no undo if you want to uncrop it or you're not happy with something click the crop button again and then change your image um, back to or uncrop the image um, as the case may be this little button here it just rotates the image or rotates the crop to landscape from um, portrait to landscape like so if you want to undo the image just drag your crop points back to the start and click apply. Okay, so that is really easy. This is just rotate the image. So rotate the image around 360 degrees. And this once you've completed the image, you just click share your image and you can sh share it. You can either save it as and save it to a location on your Mac. Um, you can send it via email, cloud app, Facebook, Flickr, Picasso or Tumblr. Um, and, and you can share it um, via social media that way. So let's um, let's just mess about with um, something on this image. This Lomia right here is quite nice, although it's on full, like so. 
looks quite nice the image looks quite nice click apply and then I'm gonna press command 2 or flick over to my borders here and then I can select a border you notice it squares the image once you've selected the border so some image, images with borders look really nice but you sort of think that you're stuck with this um, certain type of border however let's say if I chose this sprocket border here and I then wanted to edit the image I get a reposition image little toolbar come or little box tool come up in my um, toolbars here at the bottom when I'm on borders so I click reposition then I change the position of the image so you see it's quite difficult because it keeps what you can't see is it keeps the the border on the outside and then you readjust the image like so so if you want a different um, part of it within the image you readjust the image like so if you want to change the size or the scale of the image um, you do it with this slider right here so that is quite a difficult thing to do and then you click apply and it will give you that part of the image within the um, within the, the um, within the border and again if you don't want our border click none and it will go back to the start um, so if we just chose this paper um, go back to the filters and then we could share that out and we could save that um, to wherever we wanted to save it so that's analog it is really really simple there's nothing difficult about it but it does give you some really really cracking sort of um, um, effects and it, do, it really does make your images look nice this memory is quite nice gives like a, a, an echo on the image likewise with this stereoscopic this gives like quite a nice um, echo on the image as well but this time it's a colored echo which is quite nice so um <laughs> You know, I think you have to decide yourself on whether you're or not you think it's worth the money. Um, but I think if you're not really good with, um, you like effects but you're not good at applying them, then this is um, this is ideal for you. So I hope this um, you enjoyed this um, sort of review, and I'll um, I'll be back soon with more more tutorials. Catch you soon.